ProPresenter can send live streams out to any RTMP destination. So in this video, let's look at how to send your live stream to Facebook, including all of the settings you'll need. First, you'll need to go to the Facebook Live Producer page that you can find at facebook.com slash live slash producer. You'll want to bookmark this page for easy access in the future, but you can also access this by clicking Go Live when creating a new post on Facebook. In the left sidebar, you'll see where you can stream to, and you can choose to stream to your timeline, post to a page you manage, or in a group. But if you don't see the page or group that you manage, you need to reach out to a manager of one of those to update your permissions. Once you've selected where you wanna to stream to, you can choose to go live or create a live video event. Now, what's the difference between these? When you go live, you're gonna go live now or automatically within 24 hours. But if you wanna schedule something in the future, you can create create a live video event. If you do weekly streaming events, Go Live is probably gonna be your best option. But if you're gonna do a one-off event that you wanna build some extra momentum around, then I would suggest using the live event option. But both options work with ProPresenter. For this example, I'm gonna choose Go Live, so we're gonna select that. And the first thing that we need to do is make sure our source is set to streaming software instead of webcam. So with it selected as streaming software, we can go down to our key. But instead of using this key, I wanna to go to advanced settings and I wanna make sure my key is set as a persistent key. This means that my key can be used over and over again each time I stream. If I don't select this, I'm gonna to have to come in here and copy a new key each time that I wanna stream. So let's set that to a persistent key and then we'll copy that. And then we need to go inside ProPresenter. So inside ProPresenter, let's go over above the preview area and click the live button and then go to capture settings. Here you'll see our first setting that we have is our source. This is which screen do we want to stream. So I previously created a placeholder screen called live stream that I'm using for my live stream. And then our destination, we can uh, record to disk, we can stream to RTMP, or we can stream to Resi. We're gonna stream to RTMP, and then we just got our key. So let's go down to key and paste that in. I'm using command V or control V on a PC, but now we need to get our address. What's our RTMP address? that we need to stream to. So let's go back to our Facebook producer page and you'll see here we have a server URL. This is the address and so we'll just copy that and then back inside ProPresenter we'll go to our address and again we'll paste that in using Command V or Control V. Next in ProPresenter, you need to choose what quality you want to stream, which is based on your internet upload speeds. You can run an internet speed test at sites like speedtest.net, which will show you how much bandwidth you have available. We recommend only streaming at around half of what your internet upload speed test shows. So here under encoding, this is where we can change our quality based on our internet upload speeds. We also have an option to save a local copy of the video that's being uh, streamed so that you can edit it and upload it someplace else later. And you can change your audio routing settings here. But now that we have this all ready to go, we can start our capture and this is gonna start our stream to Facebook. So let's uh, just start up this announcement loop so we can see some content when we go back to our Facebook page. So back on our Facebook producer page, we can scroll down and we'll see a preview of our live stream right down here that we can check out in advance. But you'll notice that this isn't actually live streaming to Facebook yet. We can't actually click this go live button. And that's because we need to actually create the post that's gonna be shared. So up here, we need to share what our video is about and we can put in our title and description. So pro presenter test, and we can say check out our awesome stream and then we can save that. Now we have the option to go live and this would send our stream live immediately or we could change this from now to later and this will allow us to schedule up to 24 hours in advance for this stream to go live. Now, if you're streaming to a Facebook page and you wanna streamline some of this process and settings, you can go back to facebook.com slash live slash producer, that live producer page. And with a page selected, you'll see this save settings button. You'll only see this if you have a page selected. And when we select that, you can see that you can set up default titles and descriptions and stream sources. So if I edit this, you'll see I have a save title. I have my save description in here for my post and I want to always stream from my stream key. And so I've saved all of those default settings. Now, if we go back and we go to go live, I can select that 
and you'll see that our information has already been added in here. And then all we need to do is go back to ProPresenter and go to live and start capture to start our stream going to Facebook. And then we can go back to Facebook and you'll see our stream will show up and we can click to go live or schedule that to start within the next 24 hours. Now I do wanna point out that each time you stream, if you're not scheduling it and you just want to go immediately live, you need to go to that live producer page first and then in ProPresenter, start your stream. And then you can go back to that live producer page and say start. Now if you've scheduled it, all you need to do is start your stream sometime before your scheduled window and your stream will automatically start. If you wanna learn more about live streaming inside ProPresenter, check out all of the other streaming tutorials at ProPresenter.com.